Variety is reporting that reigning Best Actor winner Eddie Redmayne is the frontrunner to land the lead in the upcoming Harry Potter spinoff film Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. The trade also mentions that while Redmayne is currently their top choice, they have not yet made an official offer to the actor and that they are still considering Nicholas Holt, who can be seen in the upcoming Mad Max Fury Road, hitting AMC theaters on May 15th. Steve, would you buy or sell Eddie Redmayne as the lead in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? A hundred percent, yes. Uh, he is a beyond talented actor. Uh, he has not landed the big Hollywood franchise yet, and uh, it, he just seems like the minute I heard his name with Fantastic Beasts, I'm like, oh, this this is it. This makes sense. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, everything about this movie sounds like it's going to be good. I will buy it, but with, with a little asterisk beside it. As long as we get the theory of everything Eddie Redmayne and not the Jupiter ascending Eddie Redmayne. But you see, well, he was awful in that. Well, it wasn't wait, wait. just a bad remote movie, man. He was terrible in that role. No, he, the thing about that is he went for it the way Tom Hanks went for it in Cloud Atlas. That's where you surrender yourself to the director and you're going with what the director, the Wachowskis, what they wanted. While his performance was might, awful. Wallace performance that that's him going for the role and the performance showing he's willing to do whatever it takes yeah so that's another reason why he's fantastic and whatever he wants to okay. do so he was awful and as long as we but if we get we've seen it and it's not just theory of everything he has been brilliant in some other stuff as well if that's the Eddie Redmayne we're bringing it is a great name to attach to a project like this because it gives it a little bit of a bump Harry Potter fans right now should be very excited if these go through and it actually clicks you can't look at it any other way than being a buy anyway yeah so. I buy it I think he elevated the the theory of everything and he deserved to win that oscar uh, <clears throat> i will argue though that uh, the jupiter sending wasn't awful it was just over the top because uh, i actually enjoyed the badness of jupiter ascending it was like the best double feature i saw this year so bad. we saw that with seventh son <laughs> And me, it was like, you, me, and Dennis, yeah. we did a double feature we said you know what we're we doing tonight let's go see jupiter sending and Seventh Son. And Seventh Son at the same time. I, I saw the same night. I saw Jupiter Ascending twice, actually, both times at AMC Theaters. Mm -hmm. Want to throw that out there in, in Burbank <laughs> here. Uh, and uh, I actually liked it more the second time. I will admit the movie has issues. Yeah. I'm not pretending it doesn't, but... Uh, Let's just say it's like Chronicles of Riddick meets Dune meets some weird Wachowski weirdness. It's fun. It's dumb. It doesn't make a lot of sense. There's people fighting flying dragons. It's cool. There's madness. It's insane. If you, if you missed it, Shame on 